by s shifting you can uh, write it easily it is 1 by s minus 2 whole square right e to the power x to ft a2 and ft t so ft the plus transform that is 1 by a square and then ft min means capital f s minus a by using that formula i am doing the plus transform of uh, e to the power a t into f t that is a for s minus a by this now you check uh, what is the laplace transform of t into laplace transform of e to the power 2t laplace transform of t means 1 by a square and laplace transform of e to the power 2t means 1 by s minus 2 so are they equal laplace transform of t to the power 2t and laplace transform of t into laplace transform of e to the power 2t are they equal tell me not equals do you get the point what i mean to say yes sir therefore uh, have there any means modification of this uh, formula for which i can write laplace transform of something operating on operate with something is equal to laplace transform of f into laplace transform of g so there have uh, a term there have a uh, mathematical definition also uh, which is called convolution which follows this property uh, laplace transform of f star g that star it is called convolution operation okay it is not multiplication of f into g it is called convolution of f and g so it gives laplace transform of f into laplace transform of g okay Now, what is that convolution f star g? That f star g is equal to it is nothing but an integral 0 to t f tau g of t minus tau d tau. So there are two types of things here. One is that uh, convolution of two function. What is convoluta convolution of two functions? Okay, f star g. The definition is f star g is equal to 0 to t f tau g of t minus tau d tau. Here f and g both are function of t. And next, uh, which is the Laplace transform of this f star g, it gives Laplace transform of f into laplace transform g we can write this uh, property later uh, later also first of all uh, we should learn convolution of two function okay it is called convolution of f t and g t now if i ask uh, in your book also you will get several examples where uh, it is asked to find convolution of two given function find uh, 
से But uh, we can take some problem from the exercise. Otherwise, you can uh, take T and sine T. T star sine T. You find its convolution. Or T star e to the power a T. You can find the convolution. Let us take some problem from your book. See. Uh, this type of problems they have taken uh, 1 star 1 or 1 star sin omega t or e to the power t star e to the power minus t or cos omega t star cos omega t so we can take anything let us take problem number 7 t star e to the power t find t star e to the power t so according to the definition t star e to the power t what i will write 0 to t now f t is what t so from f t you write f tau what is f tau simply tau in a in a rough space uh, you can write f t and g t first so f t is equal to t and gt is equal to e to the power t okay now in the integrand i have to write f tau g of t minus tau so f tau kya hoga tau and g of t minus tau what is it e to the power t minus tau replace t by t minus tau you will get gt g of t minus tau is equal to e to the power t minus tau na? d tau any doubt okay. so 0 to t tau e to the power t minus tau d tau now here we are integrating with respect to tau so t may be considered as a constant so i can write this e to the power t 0 to t tau e to the power minus tau d tau from e to the power t minus tau i am ex extracting e to the power t outside to the integration okay now uh, you solve that integration by eyelet rule so e to the power t and eyelet rule so first function is tau uh, tau it will be this minus delete out of one in double integration of this uh, e to the power minus tau so the minus tau Zero to t. And out. We solve that integration by eyelet rule tau first function. So you will get this right. E to the power t. Now put uh, tau is equal to t. and uh, minus tau is equal to 0 now you can simplify minus t minus 1 plus e to the power t this so it is the convolution of t and e to the power t okay 
Next, let us take one more. Uh, so, e to the power a t into e to the power b t, you can try e to the power a means f f t that is e to the power a t and g t is e to the power b t. Okay. Uh, let us take this type one star something. So, one star sine omega t. One star sine omega t. It equals to zero to t f tau. What is f tau? F t is one. So in the rough page, you write f t is equal to one and g t is equal to sin omega t f, f star g now f tau f t 1 so f tau that is also 1 now g of t minus tau so g of t minus tau means what i will write sin omega t minus tau d tau right that is g of t minus tau sin omega into t minus tau okay next uh, how to integrate it first of all you uh, expand that sin omega into t minus tau in the formula by the formula sin a minus b what is the formula sin a minus b Bolo. sin a minus b so sin a cos b minus sin b cos a sin a cos b minus cos a sin a cos b minus cos a sin b hmm. same thing ok so sin omega t cos omega tau minus cos omega t sin omega tau d tau okay now uh, we are integrating with respect to tau so these are constant cos omega t sin omega t these are constants so integration uh, sin omega t 0 to t cos omega tau d tau minus cos omega t 0 to t sin omega tau d tau now you solve this to integration simple and simple formula solve this to integration and put the limits you will get the answer okay Similarly, uh, any doubt, uh, I think all of you can do this, right? If you have understood the uh, formula A star G, then you can solve any, any one, anything from 1 to 7. Now, some convolution property you should know. Uh, the main convolution property uh, which is used which can be used that is this the first one f star g is equal to g star f okay convolution 
operation is commutative. That is, a star g is equal to g star f. Fine. तो इसका मतलब क्या है कि ये जो एफ स्टार जी एफ स्टार जी मतलब जीरो टू टी एफ टाउ जी ऑफ टी माइनस टाउ डी टाउ ये जो इंटीग्रेशन है एंड जी स्टार एफ मतलब जी टाउ एफ ऑफ टी माइनस टॉ डी टॉ ये दोनों सेम है राइट right? ये दोनों सेम है तो इफ इट इज अस फाइंड कॉन्वोल्यूशन तो कॉन्वोल्यूशन निकालने के लिए यू कैन यूज एनी ऑफ दिस टू इंटीग्रल फॉर्मूला any any function you have to fix it and the rest you have to convert it to a function of t minus tau to dekho yahan pe actually ye jo 1 star sin omega t tha isme agar main ulta karta ulta matlab f ko g and g ko f likhte to wo aasan hota integration solve karna like uh, it is asked to find 1 star sin omega t right so we can write it as sin omega t star 1 because commutative na star operation is commutative now you apply the formula 0 to t sin omega t is simply sin omega tau and 1 so it is g t g t एंड जी ऑफ टी माइनस टाउ क्या होगा यहां पे एफ टाउ दैट इज साइन ओमेगा टाउ जी टाउ सॉरी जी ऑफ टी माइनस टाउ ना फॉर्मूला इज जीरो टू टी एफ टाउ जी ऑफ टी माइनस टाउ तो जी ऑफ टी माइनस टाउ क्या होगा कांस्टेंट फंक्शन मल्टीप्लाइड वन डी टाउ इज नॉट इट इज इयर टू सॉल्व ओनली साइन ओमेगा टी का इंटीग्रेशन सॉरी ओमेगा टाउ का इंटीग्रेशन इट इज माइनस ना माइनस वन बाय ओमेगा कॉस ओमेगा टाउ जीरो टू t to minus 1 by omega cos omega t minus 1 previously also agar ye solve karte to answer wahi aata you can check it minus 1 by omega cos omega t minus 1 okay बट ऐसे नहीं होता है कि आ, मतलब एफ स्टार वन यूजली वन इंटू समथिंग वन इंटू ए फंक्शन वो फंक्शन होता है ना एफ बट वन स्टार एफ वो एफ नहीं होता है इन जनरल यू कैन वेरीफाइड इट ए स्टार मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑपरेशन वैसा है बट it is not exactly multiplication it will not follow all the properties of multiplication okay now let us come to the convolution theorem convolution theorem so i am not stating the existence and uniqueness criteria uh, only i am writing the formula what uh, convolution theorem says that laplace transform of 
Okay. If Laplace transform of F T is equal to F S and Laplace transform of G T is equal to G S. Then Laplace transform of F star G. So F star G means F T star G T. Okay, is equal to F S into G S. Or we can write in in place of F S we can write Laplace transform of F T in place of G S. We can add Laplace transform of GT. So that is the property. That is the result. Laplace transform of F star G. It is equal to uh, F S into G S. Here the operation is multiplication. Okay, not the convolution. Or uh, inverse in, means inverse property. We can write uh, of that convolution theorem. That is Laplace. Inverse of F S into G S is equal to what F star G. That inverse property is rigorously used to find Laplace inverse or product of two functions. Whenever the function of S given as product of two functions, in that case. Uh, we can always use the convolution theorem, Laplace inverse of f s into g s form. It is f star g. मतलब वो integration use करके कर सकते हैं. f star g means zero to t f tau g of t minus tau. Any doubt in any doubt in convolution theorem statement? No, Okay. Now let us see the application of this convolution theorem. The direct ap application, uh, it is not that much useful. Means Laplace transform of f star g is equal to f s into g s. It is not that much useful. That inverse property, it is very very useful. Uh, from problem number seventeen to twenty six, there are several uh, function of S. Some function of S are given, and it is asking to find Laplace inverse of this by convolution. Okay, means uh, you can solve it by some other formula, but here they have asked you to ask you to. Use convolution. So in the exam, particularly it is mentioned, okay, that uh, find Laplace inverse by convolution. So in that case, you cannot apply any other formula. देखो जैसे ये seventeen. How can you solve seventeen? Don't think about convolution. I'm not asking about convolution. Previously, what uh, you have been taught by using those techniques. You tell me. Partial fraction? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Second, eighteen. That can be also solved. Yes, fifteen. It is a fifteen. But what about nineteen? It is whole square form. There will denominator will differentiate करना होगा तो उसको numerator के form में express करना पड़ेगा. क्यों ऐसा क्यों? हम लोग integration तो नहीं कर रहे हैं इसको. अच्छा. Sorry. 
laplace inverse formula you think which laplace inverse formula can be applied so here actually that convolution there have only one way that is convolution no other way 20 you can solve it by several methods you can use partial fraction, you can use fs by s form, you can use that denominator whole square form. Okay, there are several methods to solve 20. 21 also you can solve it fs by s square form. So, if, uh, if the denominator it is in whole square form, then better to apply a convolution theorem. Fine. So I am doing problem number 19 first uh, for the idea of this convolution theorem. Problem number 19. 2 pi s divided by a square plus pi square whole square. 2 pi s divided by a square plus pi square whole square. Now, we have to apply convolution. Okay, so convolution means first of all, we have to express that given function as a product of two function, fs into gs form. So, ye ek task hai, ki pehle kisko fs liya jaye and kisko gs liya jaye. So there are several uh, means multiplication representations means fs and gs can be anything there are so many possibilities right fs and gs ka. but which possibility is the best that you have to think fs and gs so you take fs and gs in such a way so that inverse of fs at gs can be found from the table Malab, jiska Laplace inverse no no. Fs and gs aise lena jiska Laplace inverse no no. Okay? So can you tell me Fs and gs kya liya jaye? So Fs ko 2 pi by s square plus pi square ka whole square. Or this that is the best representation of the form fs into gs ye dono ko alter kar sakte ho matlab fs gs ko alter kar sakte ho s by s square plus pi square pehle then 2 pi by s square plus pi square baad mein ye dono ko alter kar sakte ho but agar aise le lete hain maan lo ki ye bhi to ek representation hoga 2 pi s multiplied 1 by a square plus pi square whole square that is also in the form of fs into gs but we will not take this because we don't know the laplace inverse of this right do you get it the idea how to take fs and gs yes again i am repeating you have to choose fs and gs in such a way so that uh, inverse inverse of fs and gs are known so fs that is 2 pi divided by a square plus pi square and gs that is s divided by a square plus pi square so we have to find laplace inverse of this 2 pi s divided by a square plus pi square whole square that in that means laplace inverse of fs into gs right so we have organized the form laplace inverse of fs into gs now 
I will uh, write at the answer as f star g. So f means f t, g means g t. So I need f t and g t, na? Then I can then I can write it. So how to get f t and g t? F t means Laplace inverse of f s. So what is f t? Tell me. Laplace inverse of f s. Two sine pi t. Two sine pi t. Is not it? Yes, sir. And G S, it is S by A square plus pi square. So G T cos. Cos pi. T. Therefore, Laplace inverse of two pi s divided by a square plus pi square whole square. Laplace inverse of f s into g s. By the convolution theorem, it is f star g. That means two sine two sine pi t star cos pi t. Now, uh, how to solve? How to get this star operation? By the integration, zero to t f tau. That means two sine pi tau and g t minus tau. So g t cos pi t. Therefore, g t minus tau cos pi t minus tau d tau. Okay. Now you solve that integration. Uh, we need two sine a cos b formula. So what is the formula? Two sine a cos b. The so search in the internet and tell me. Two sine a cos b. Tell me. Sine a plus b plus sine b minus. Sine a plus b minus. Plus sine a minus b. Plus or minus? Plus. 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 Sine a plus b plus sine a minus b. Ah, yes, sir. It is very tight. I forgot actually. So sine a plus b that means pi t plus pi t minus pi tau. So two. Sorry. Pi tau, pi tau cancel out. Only pi t, a plus b, plus sine a minus b. So pi tau minus pi t plus also two pi tau minus pi t. D tau. ये है ना और देखो कुछ अलग आएगा. Is it correct?
ओके तो साइन पाई टी इट इज कॉन्स्टेंट बिकॉज वी आर इंटीग्रेटिंग विच रेस्पेक्ट टू टाउ तो आफ्टर इंटीग्रेटिंग इट विल बी साइन पाई टी टाउ जीरो टू टी एंड सेकेंड टर्म इट इज साइन तो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन दैट इज माइनस कॉस एंड इट विल बी वन बाई टू बाई जीरो टू टी तो टी साइन पाई टी माइनस वन बाय टू पाई वट कॉस टाउ इज इक्वल टू टी कॉस पाई टी एंड टाउ इज इक्वल टू जीरो माइनस ऑफ कॉस माइनस पाई टी तो दैट सेकेंड दिस कॉस पाई टी माइनस ऑफ कॉस माइनस पाई टी दैट विल बी जीरो कॉस माइनस पाई टी मतलब क्या कॉस पाई टी ना तो इट इज सिंपली टी साइन पाई टी दैट इज आंसर Are not at all responding. What is the issue? You could not understand or uh, what? So understood. At least in a class, uh, in online class, I can expect five or six uh, responses, but I am getting zero or one responses. मतलब चार पांच तो स्टूडेंट होगा जो एटलीस्ट मतलब इंटरेस्टेड है यस तो रेस्पॉन्ड करो नहीं तो मुझे कैसे पता चलेगा तुम लोगों को समझ में आया है कि नहीं ओके नाउ सिमिलरली ट्वेंटी वन सिमिलरली ट्वेंटी वन यू कैन डू ट्वेंटी फॉर ट्वेंटी वन यू टेक एफ एस वन बाई ए स्क्वायर एंड जी एस ओमेगा डिवाइडेड बाई ए स्क्वायर प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वायर ओके For twenty one, you take F S one by A square and G S one by A square plus Omega square. And for seventeen, it is simple. Two linear factors. One me, ah, uh, means five point five divided by this. Le lo, or one me one by s minus four. Five point five, kisi me include kar sakte ho. Constant me koi dikkat nahi hai. To f s me bhi include kar sakte ho constant. G s me bhi include kar sakte ho. ठीक है. And eighteen case me, f s and g s. Same. Look, uh, मतलब ये इसमें फालतू में ये कॉन्वोल्यूशन लगाने का कोई uh, मतलब नहीं है बट सिंस इट इज आस्किंग टू फाइंड लैपलस इनवर्स बाई कॉन्वोल्यूशन देन यू हैव टू डू इन दैट इसमें वो 
you cannot apply a shifting otherwise by using a shifting directly i can write the answer okay yes, similarly i think uh, no need to mention for uh, okay, 20 sir. 20 kar loge by convolution yes sir yes sir one by s or x ah one by s and nine by s plus three or you can take nine by s and one by s plus three yes for twenty two There are uh, actually in uh, one by s or uh, e to the power minus a s by s by two. Ah, uh, that also you can take. मतलब इसमें convolution का भी दो दो तीन type है. Con दो तीन में दो तीन type में तुम represent कर सकते हो. जैसे f s को ऐसे लिख सकते हैं. F s is equal to e to the power minus a s divided by s. Okay, and g s that is one by एस माइनस टू और जैसे बोल रहे हो वो भी चलेगा एफ एस ई टू दी पावर माइनस ए एस एंड जी एस वन बाई एस इन टू एस माइनस टू तो दिक्कत क्या होगा कि कोई मतलब कभी कभी ई इंटीग्रेशन जो है ना वो कॉम्प्लिकेटेड हो जाता है मतलब एफ भी मिल स्मॉल एफ एंड स्मॉल जी ये दोनों मिल गया उसके बाद एफ स्टर जी जब करने गए वो टाइम में इंटीग्रेशन कॉम्प्लिकेटेड हो जाता है कभी तो उसके लिए चॉइस थोड़ा ठीक ठाक लेना पड़ेगा ओके एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज सेम एज प्रॉब्लम नंबर नाइनटीन जो आज की या नाइनटीन नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव सेम टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम So in the next class, uh, I will solve one more problem from seventeen to twenty-six range. Yes. Then, then we'll go to the next uh, type of problems, eight to fourteen or. Okay, sir. Okay, that's all for today. I'll give all present. Thank you, sir. 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 Hmm.